So, late night, very late night snack, and I have to work tomorrow as well. But, I somehow, well, I had to do this. I'm not sure if I had to, but I wanted to. Okay, so, what you're looking at is a ribbon tweeter. Uh, it's far, far, far from perfect. Uh, because it actually is a little bit too wide. So it drops. It drops somewhere and also the impedance is a, a very low. So the impedance of this ribbon is like a 0 0.4 ohm, which is not very nice for your amplifier. Uh, well, on the other hand, there is a resistor here, which is 2.7 ohm. So in total, it's 3.1 ohm. Uh, but almost, uh, let me see, one eighth is going to the ribbon or something. Is that true? 2.7 and this is 0 0.4. Well, uh, let's say less. One fifth of the power is going to the ribbon, the rest is going into the res uh, resistor. Um, and I thought of this because I wanted, to, still, I'm playing with my big guns and I really want to have like a crispy top end. Uh, it's 6.8 micron thick aluminum foil, which is a little bit too thick still, but it's not possible to find anything thinner than this. So that's why the reason, or the reason is, it is 0 0.4 ohms, which is way too low. But it works because it's a resistor this is a resistor you can add a resistor and it doesn't change the output well in volume it does but not so much or not at all in terms of how it looks so you can pad it with well with a resistor and whatever you want so if it has enough output more than enough you can pad it with a resistor to get the up or the impedance you would like to have um, <clears throat> in this case I used something weird because it's I'm not sure if you can see this you probably know this from shelves it's just a piece of this metal for shelves reason I chose it because there is uh, of course holes in it not perfectly, I would like to have more holes in it and uh, maybe a bit more consistent, but uh, this is what I use because, well, I thought of it, I need a U-shape or actually even an ohm shape, so with some flaps here, so you can attach it to something, but, well, this is what I got and let's first try before I, you know, order some metal and drill holes or slice stuff in it so this is the, well the cheapest and easiest thing I could find I attached magnets on these sides I'm not even sure if this is in frame because I cannot see yeah so magnets on here magnets on the other side and some felt in the back side so that's what you're seeing here magnets aluminum foil magnets and just one of these thingies and these are like 350 or something for the two magnets I don't dare to tell how much they cost but I can assure you not that much uh, then there's the question this is neodymium uh, is that a good thing I don't know I could use the there's a variant that has it's like twice the size you could use like uh, ferrites ferrites has the benefit that it extends the magnetic field extends a little bit further into the gap which is nice in this case so but uh, most of all I should use a smaller ribbon because it's so close it rubs somewhere so it's not perfect, it has distortion and also uh, the sides are in a huge magnetic field and the middle is not so much so I should be using a thinner, smaller foil which also benefit the impedance. But enough said, 
Let's listen to this insane crappy looking thing. And it's gonna be... Uh, we've played this before. Ow, my knees are f completely fucked. Uh, it is called... All the King's Daughters. Well, at least the band is. And the song is... Uh, Lonesome Man. Yeah. Why not? Because we've played it before. So let's do it again. And I add some light. Finally, so I can even film at night. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's a CD, so I can not use the laptop. There we go. Uh, there will be some distortion somewhere. You probably will find it. I guess it's crossed at like a normal tweeter, like well, a little bit lower even, but two and a half k, I think. I think. But it's also because there is no baffle. This tweeter is kind of naked. I was looking for some work, got caught up in your storm. I am silent as the grave. Except for the distortion is not perfect by far, but I'm pretty sure why because it's first of all my magnets are uh, coming off as I see now uh, and it is rubbing here and there and also because it's a u-shape you actually either you want a lot of holes which I don't have or you want to damp it uh, and I got neither of them. But the idea is, is it possible to play loud enough to mate to a big gun? And if so, 
uh, can it extend far enough? Well, it extends to 18k, 18K so it is a little bit of well, it's a win there, but if it's a little bit lower, that would be better. So, smaller foil, and I should be able to reach a little bit lower, I think. But, uh, let's play some tests. Chanson? Chanson? Autumn leaves. Je voudrais tant que tu te souviennes Des jours heureux Où nous étions amis En ce temps-là La vie était plus belle Et le soleil Plus brûlant qu'aujourd'hui Les feuilles mortes Se ramassent à la pelle Tu vois Je n'ai pas oublié les feuilles mortes se ramassent à la pelle Les souvenirs et les regrets aussi The falling leaves Drift by my window The falling leaves Of red and gold See your lips, the summer kisses, the sunburned hands I used to hold. Mais la vie se parle, ce qui s'aime. Tout doucement, sans faire de bruit, et la mer efface sur le sable les pas des amants désunis. Une chanson qui nous ressemble. Toi, tu m'aimais et je t'aimais et nous vivions tous deux ensemble. Qui te met since you went away? The days grow long, and soon I hear all winter song, but I miss you. My darling, when autumn leaves start to fall, et la mer efface sur le sable les pas. Des amants, des
sometimes some metallic sound because it's a hitting a resonance because it's probably too wide but hopefully better next time uh, and as well you can buy this piece of metal in any shape or form you want well at least length so this is a option for my big guns not saying it is the option but it might be I don't know I love this Amy and stuff. I could sleep with this. me so um, eventually if you like this kind of content then please um, well subscribe or or don't but uh, and if you like support me at my patreon so I could make some more of these kind of videos maybe not this kind but maybe a little bit more in depth that would be nice, but I do have to buy materials and such. And I no, I am not a sad person, but it would help a lot. So, see you next time. Bye bye.